What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen, welcome back to Tactical Bassin, and welcome back to video number two of our 2024 Holiday Buyer's Guide series. Today, we are talking everything chatterbaits. Chatterbaits, bladed jigs, whatever you want to call them, this bait has, has stormed bass fishing over the last 10 or 15 years. The chatterbait is its own category and it deserves its own buyer's guide video. Now, there are all kinds of companies that build a bladed jig. Flat out, we'll just tell you on the front end, all of the baits that we're about to talk about are made by Z-Man. They're the original chatterbait or some variation thereof. The reason why is that we are both firm believers that the solid connection between the blade and the eyelet, which has been patent protected from the beginning, is the superior design. The way it connects with the head, the vibration, the sound, they just work. So until somebody comes up with a better way to do it that is actually more effective, pretty much all of the chatterbaits we throw are actually chatterbaits. Uh, now that said, there's a variety of them that we use in different situations, along with a variety of trailers. We'll get into all of that. As Tim mentioned, this is our second video in the Buyer's Guide series. The purpose of this video is to help you guys going into the holidays uh, to get the items that you want, to get information. As sales are rolling by, you can take advantage of the sales. These are on sale right now, which is why we're doing this video today. Uh, you can also share these videos with your loved ones going into the holidays. Uh, so they've got a bit of a, a buyer's guide for them for or, a, or a list <laughs> for you. The video description will have links to all of the baits, the trailers, the rods, all that stuff in a way that even a non-angler can understand to link to Tackle Warehouse to find the right products. You want to kick us off? Sure. All these baits laid out in front of us, if we could only have one, if we just wanted to get one chatterbait and one trailer, it'd be this guy right here. This is the Z-Man and Evergreen Jackhammer, right? In that color right there, green pumpkin shad. Half pa ounce. <laughs> paired up with a spunk shad. So if you are a guy that wants to get just one chatterbait, I can't tell you how many big fish we've caught on that exact combo right there. It's but, ridiculous. But that guy, the jackhammer, kind of is the, the staple in all of these uh, chatterbaits, bladed jig categories. So, category, if, if you needed one, that's our go-to. No question. You want me to do the next one? Go for it. All right. So, the jackhammer is a pricey bait. But as Tim said, if you could only have one, I mean, it's not even a discussion. That's the one. And that really is the color. Half ounce, green pumpkin shad, send it. Put a hog farmer 4.5 spunk shad on it, you're done. Good to go. That said, it's a pricey bait. And last year, Z-Man came out with the Evo Elite, which is an amazing chatterbait at a fraction of the cost. And they did a bunch of things with this thing that are awesome. Uh, unique head shape, it's got phenomenal sound, unique blades. So all the blades have like an epoxy coating on them. So super durable blades and amazing colors. Like that one right there is one of my absolute favorite colors in the Evo line. Some amazing colors that you can't get in the standard jackhammer and you're getting them at a fraction of the cost. Over the past year, we've thrown a ton of Evo. Uh, it's an amazing bait and it's affordable. I think they recognized that there was a need for an affordable chatterbait that was still super high quality. And they've done an amazing job of filling that niche. Yeah, that's quickly becoming one of my favorite. I mean, like you said, it's half the price, basically. Uh, you get painted blades, you get some cool colors and uh, been really, really excited and uh, caught a ton of fish on that one as well. Uh, next up is going to be the Evo Elite, but this is the tungsten, right? Smaller head, tungsten head, smaller profile, and this thing kicks like it no shakes. other. You it can, vibrates like, loud. It is. It thumps so hard. So if you're a guy that likes to burn a chatterbait or rip a chatterbait, 
this thing, the startup speed is amazingly quick. That's one of the mm -hmm. downsides of some of the other... Uh, there's hundreds of them, right? Yeah. There's hundreds of chatterbait type baits on the market Styles. that don't start up as fast. The startup speed is key, right? We all get to that certain area. We make that cast where we know that fish is, you know, is sitting there ambushing from, and we want that blade working correctly. We don't want to have to pop it to get that blade going. We want, and this guy, probably out of all of them, has an amazing startup speed. But again, you're going to feel that, that rod thumping. It kicks so hard. Again, benefits of tungsten, smaller profile, more dense, and you can get those heavier weights in that smaller compact size. But that guy is also a winner. So we won't go into the, the fine details of chatterbait fishing today because this isn't supposed to be a teaching video. It's just supposed to help you make wise decisions to understand what the different baits are for. But the bladed jig category, you can fish them fast, you can burn them, you can pop them and work them, get reaction strikes. But that startup speed is everything. You throw past the target, if you can throw 20 feet past the dock and then wind up to it, a lot of chatter or a lot of bladed jigs can will that. work. Yeah. But if you are trying to throw to a piece of cover that's right up against the bank and you need to hit and have it working, that's what makes these superior. That startup speed. So many baits will be two or three or four feet away from the target by the time the action kicks in. And that just doesn't work for me. Right. Uh, Another one here for you. Those are, we're going to call that like the bread and butter. I mean, that that's it, right? Between a jackhammer and an Evo and then now the tungsten Evo, those are brand new. Uh, that's pretty much it. You're set. After that, you're looking at niche categories, right? Baits for different things. Probably the biggest standout to me is this guy right here. This is called the cross size. Okay, the cross size is less expensive. Uh, it's not as fancy. You have less color options. Uh, you've got a little bit different style hook. But the big thing here is that it has these two wire guards on it. And I can take these and bend them, right? They, you can do anything with them. They're solid wire guards. But if I take them and I separate them about like so, what that does is that creates a chatterbait that can come through wood remarkably well, specifically fishing wood, not grass. Those come through grass amazing. But if I'm fishing laydowns or standing timber, the cross size is superior. It can reflect, it can deflect and roll and come off of that wood and just keep on going. It just does a remarkable job of that. It is a true standout in that category. Yeah, that's a great, great little uh, wood bait. Uh, next up, again, talking about these niche baits. For a long time, we were wanting and needing a clear water or more of a finesse style chatterbait. Yep. A couple years ago, Z-Man came out with the Stealth Blades. It's got a clear, see-through blade. It's just the the chatterbait that I go to when I when I have a lot of visibility when the clear, water's really clear got five to eight foot of visibility but I still want that you want the vibration the vibration you know I'm still pairing up with a spunk shad but I'm going with more of your shad your more bait fish colors I still want to be able to fish a chatterbait I just don't need that that big flash uh, so that's when I go with the stealth blade so if you're a guy that fished clear water and you want to kind of finesse chatterbait them this is a really good bait and then last but not least is going to be this little guy this is called the mini max it's a much smaller profile smaller blade smaller hook smaller skirt it's a much smaller profile than a standard chatterbait but it still has a very stout hook when this bait came out i was pumped it came out at the exact same time as the big blade chatterbait came out, if you remember that. And everyone was pumped on the big blade. And it's a great bait. But between the two, there was no question to me the Mini Max was the deal. The Mini Max is that downsized profile. We're seeing that in everything from a jig to a worm to a swim bait, right? People are downsizing. A downsized chatterbait that had quality components was needed. You can go smaller, but if you go to a light wire hook, it's worthless. But here they went to a smaller, heavy wire hook 
This can still take a beating from a big fish, but it's that smaller profile. You can match smaller bait fish. You can fish for fish that are more pressured. It is a fish catcher. The mini max is overlooked by a lot of people and it should not be by you. That one really shines, you know, when you have a small bluegill like that, yes. when they're up shallow and they're eating, you know, shad and small bluegill, that little mini max is uh, it's a, it's a killer. It's an awesome little bait. Can I, can yep. I jump into colors really quick and then you start trailers? Go for it. We'll just take, even though it's not a teaching video, <laughs> sorry, we'll just take a second, right? Uh, a couple seconds. Chatterbaits come in so many different colors and that can be really overwhelming for people, right? You, you pop that thing open, you're like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna get a jackhammer. And then you're like, whoa, which, color, yeah. which one? The simple theory is you just get what matches your bait fish, right? A shad, a bluegill, do you have stained water, do you have murky water? But there's more to it than that. And the baits themselves have come so far in the last few years. Like, look at an electric shad compared to like a white, right? I mean, it's just night and day or that Alabama brim. I mean, that color is just so, so good. So what is the deal? If you are just going to shoot in the dark, here's a little bit of help for you so that you or a loved one can make a good choice. If you've got really tannic water, which is like dark tea colored water, brown water, heavy stain in the water, a lot of times the blacks and blues are going to be a great option, okay? Now you can go super bright, like a true black blue like that Evo, or you can go a little bit duller. This is actually bruised green pumpkin and the jackhammer is just a duller black blue with a little green pumpkin in it. But black blue is a great option if you've got that dark water. Now, if you've got really clear water, your shad type colors are the deal, right? Those are the ones. And most often, that's where we go. Now, bluegill speaks for themselves. You're fishing ponds, small bodies of water, shallow grass. Bluegill is a great option. But here's the thing that almost everybody misses, okay? Catch this. If you're going to get more than one, if you are on a fishery with a ton of pressure, you need to stay with those duller, natural colors most of the time. But if you are on a fishery where not that many people are fishing or not that many people are throwing a chatterbait, bold colors, the bright whites, the chartreuses, they will get the biggest bites. If you've never caught a really big one on a bladed jig, start throwing bold colors. You will get less bites, but you will tend to get bigger bites. What I think that is, is that bass are naturally aggressive and a chatterbait has amazing drawing power, right? So if there's a school of fish, every fish in there is gonna fire up and try and eat that chatterbait. But when it's bright and bold and in their face, I think there's just that little bit of a moment where a little guy's like, I don't know, <laughs> and the giant can see it from farther away and they take the shot. It's remarkable the number of true giants that we've caught on a bladed jig when we throw bold colors. So if you've wondered, you know, when are you throwing chartreuse? When are you throwing those flamethrowers, the bright orange, the bright red, those colors, that's the theory behind that. The natural colors, day in and day out, that's what you get bit on. But those crazy colors tend to be how you get the giant bites. Should we talk trailers? Trailers are super important. I mean, we spend a lot of time watching underwater footage, doing our own shooting and and trying out different trailers and baits. Uh, let's start off with, if you're a guy that's throwing the Minimax or a downsized profile chatterbait, we have two trailers for you. We have the Big big Bite Baits, the that's the Kamikaze Swim On, or the three inch Yamamoto Zako. Mm -hmm. Those are the two. There's a ton of soft plastics, a ton of different trailers you can use on the backs of your, your chatter baits. But these two in that smaller profile work extremely well. So we got, try and grab one that's not all kinked. That guy right there. And one of these guys right here. Now the swim on has quite a bit of movement, right? where the Zocco has that real kind of just like S-y kind of 
tighter action. So if you find yourself in a finessier situation, a little bit colder water, that's where we're gonna go with the Zocco. But if you're a, you know, fishing summertime, fall, early spring, and you want some action, this guy right here has a ton of action rigged on that guy. Well, that's a kind of a kinked one too, but. No but, big deal. Yeah, it's gonna have a ton of action and it just mimics those uh, fleeing bluegill, the frantic bluegill bait fish really, really well. But those are our two favorite trailers for the downsize profile for those downsized jack uh, chatterbaits. Now for 95% of our chatterbait fishing, no exaggeration, we're using pintails, straight tail chatterbaits. On all your full size baits, the straight tail trailers allow your baits to have more movement. Hands down, the number one bait that we've always thrown from Hog Farmer is that Spunk Shad. We already said that in the beginning. This is a 4.5, this is a 5.5. Now in the description, we'll give you favorite colors for all this stuff too. So don't worry about that. But there's a bunch of amazing colors to pair up to all your chatterbaits. The 4.5 is definitely the most popular. When those are paired up together, it's just a really compact, really good package. Now the 5.5 is my personal preference. The 5.5 has that longer tail stretched out. The reason we're throwing pintails is that a lot of trailers will create drag behind the chatterbait and it pretty much just goes in a straight line. You can pop it and work it and you'll create changes in the action, but it's still coming in a straight line. When you put a pintail on the back, when you put a spunk shad on there and you start popping and working that reel, that thing is dancing, cutting, walking side to side. It's unlike anything else. And it takes this category of bait to a completely different level. So literally 95% of our chatterbait fishing is done with those. Now, Hog Farmer created that bait, that spunk shad. They also licensed it to missile bait. So again, 4.5, 5.5. Exact same baits, different colors. So both are worth taking a look at. If you're trying to match up to a specific trailer, like bruised green pumpkin, missile baits, super bug. That's a good color. They, they're a match. It's black, blue on top, green pumpkin, black on the bottom. Same thing as the chatterbait same exact colors, the way they match up. And this is that 5.5, it's magic. Now you take an Elite Evo or the Evo Tungsten. Look at that. Perfect, perfect pairing. You take one of these guys in an electric shad, you put that 4.5 electric shad spunk shad on it by Hog Farmer, you're dialed, right? So you can mix and match to create perfect pairings for every single one of these. Yeah, and if you do find yourself in that finesse situation, like with the stealth blades, you take a 3.5 in the electric shad or something like that, you get that downsized ghost electric shad looking looking color and that thing is lights out as well. Uh, real quick, let's talk about craws because we don't throw a lot of craw trailers on our chatterbaits because like Matt said, 95% of the time, we want that thing erratic. Right. That we hasn't want that, stopped us from finding the best. We want it. We want that thing to change directions. But if you need one, the four-inch Paca Slim is an amazing craw trailer for your jacket. For your, I keep saying jacket. For your chatter. Well, it's fair. I, I for the jackhammer, throw it on the jackhammer. But this guy right here, if you saw our jig video, you noticed that we recommend this for our jig trailers as well but this thing has a ton of action. Now you can play around if you wanna rig it horizontal or vertical, that's completely up to you, but we have a bait specifically for that that is really, really good. But this guy right here, paired up on your favorite full-size chatterbait is a good one. It's money. The reason that one stands out is those claws to get back there kicking, but what makes that bait so unique in its category is that it tends to just create like random action. So it'll be back there kicking behind that chatterbait and all of a sudden one of the arms will like wander off and then come back in. And it creates this extra action all on its own even while you're just straight winding. 
All right, one more for you in that pintail category. So the pintail thing exploded and Z-Man got in on that and they created the chatter spike. So Z-Man who builds the chatter bait built a bait in this category. This is their chatter bait or their chatter spike. It's jointed, it's got several joints and it's a Laztec, it stretches. It's a very unique material. So if you want a bait that you can just set up, fish all day long, just forget about, that is a great way to go. And again, it's all about pairings. Like, are you holding green? Yeah, look at that. This color is called the deal. It is the deal. <laughs> Seriously, on the back of a green pumpkin shad, it's so good. Look at this thing. Little trick for you when you're using a Laztec, if you want to push it up, you'll, you'll work on it all day. If you grab and pull it up, it goes into place perfectly every time. That pairing, the deal on the back of Green Pumpkin Shad is awesome. All right, for those you guys, those of you that like to throw a swim bait or a paddle tail behind your chatter bait, Again, we've done a lot of underwater footage. We've looked at a lot of them. We've thrown a lot of them. You know, we have some of our favorite swim baits that we throw on underspins and stuff, but they don't really pair up with that vibration. Yeah, it's, diff it's like it's, two different speeds. They don't go well together. And I think it, I mean, it just doesn't look very good. It doesn't look natural and it probably messes with the fish too. But the, uh, the Zocco with the actual paddle tail, out of all the paddle tail swim baits that we've tried, that one matches up or pairs the best uh, with the vibration, the f the frequency of that blade vibration, yep. and they kind of work together, whereas some of those other swim baits, they're just kind of off, like Matt said, but paired up with, uh, I mean, green pumpkin, uh, green pumpkin, black, blue, any of those, this is one of my favorites to throw in Florida, but uh, that guy right there, again, you have that, the benefit of the, the, the chatterbait is you have that vibration, but you also have that, that, that the uh, skirt, the skirt the kind of action. just pulsating, and then you have that tail back there kind of kicking. It's just a whole package that works extremely well. Again, fishing around grass, around wood, around hardcover structure. This uh, a chatterbait, a bladed jig, whatever you want to call it, is is hard to beat. But that guy right there, if you're a guy that wants to have some tail kick, some true swimming action, the Zocco with the tail on it is the way to go. Last but not least, so there's four categories of trailers, right? We've got pintails, craw trailers, swim bait trailers, and then what I call like profile trailers. So like a true fish profile. So typically those are going to be the trailers that are turned up on edge. They're not flat. This is one that we haven't talked about before. This is from G-Rat. This is called the Mixer. This is a very unique bait. I have been extremely impressed with this thing. The mixer, again, we're going to rig vertically, not flat. When rigged vertically, we've got these two tails and they're oversized tails hanging out behind that chatterbait. They're completely flat. And as a result, they pick up the action from the chatterbait extremely well. And there's two things about this that I really like. The two tails will get going separate of each other. And then they're two toned as well. So you can visibly, both you and the fish, can visibly see that action difference. And it is amazing how well this one works. This was not our first, well, this didn't exist before, but this wasn't our first pick in this category. And it has now become our top pick in this category. If you are throwing like a bluegill imitator and you don't want a paddle tail on the back, you're going to be hard pressed to beat that G-Rat mixer. It is a really, really good option. Where does that leave us? Rods, you want me to buzz through them? Yeah, go for it. All right, for rods. You did say buzz through them. I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good so you far. Are. Are. We haven't we haven't hit one where I just go down a rabbit hole. Uh, let's start high end. We'll go high end first. Well, why don't, why don't you talk about the two uh, kind of two extremes in rods, whether you're throwing a glass rod or, a, cause there's a lot of yeah. 
Well, and really there's three extremes, if you will, and, and, and all three of these come from different places. So some people will throw a chatterbait on a glass rod, and the idea is that they're slower, and they absorb more, and when you're working them around grass and you go to like pop free Put of the grass, it doesn't come ripping out of there. It comes out slower and those fish can catch that thing. There's like a little delay in the action of the rod. And there are some people that swear by that. Thankfully, that is also pretty budget friendly. Uh, now, we tend to lean in our own fishing to some higher end, more traditional rods. They're still a little bit slower, but they're not glass rods, they're graphite rods. I really like the sensitivity. Mm -hmm. I want to feel what that chatterbait's doing, because a lot of times when fish grab it, they'll just lash out and just, they'll just catch that thing as it's coming by, right? And it doesn't immediately load up. All that happens is the vibration stops. Or if a fish hits it and misses, the vibration will just get funny for a second. And I want to feel that so that I know to pitch back to that fish again. Then there's also just the heavy cover thing, which is its own animal. It's a night and day different to be in Tennessee or anywhere in the middle of the country on a reservoir, wind down a chatterbait in relatively open water, and then to find yourself, you know, in the deep south around heavy cover, huge grass fields, Florida, you know, Alabama, Texas, and you find yourself in these situations where it's big fish in heavy cover. All of those scenarios require different rods. So from the top, hands down, favorite. he's over here laughing. This rod is amazing. Well, no, there's just so much. I was just thinking about all the different ways to fish a chatterbait, but again, we're not going to go down that rabbit hole. Right. We've got instructional videos for right. that. But. We've, got, we've got videos for that. If I could only have one rod... From G. Loomis, this is the GLX, okay? I'll read you the exact model. This is the bladed jig rod. It is the 873 BJR, which stands for bladed jig rod. Perfect action for fishing these chatterbaits. Perfect sensitivity. It's amazing. I have it paired up to a high-end reel, flat out. The Metanium DCA, the 70. That reel is unbelievable. I get amazing distance out of it. It's small, it's compact in the hand, it's lightweight. This combo is incredibly light in the hand, unbelievably sensitive. I pair it to braid, which takes it even to another level. I use 40 pound braid to leader. That combo is insane. I mean, what you can feel, not just when a fish eats it, but when, when a fish it, misses it or, or yeah. looks at it, yes. It's amazing the difference. That combo is incredible. If you're not on a budget, you just want to know what's out there, that is the deal. Now, for the guy that's more on a budget or the guy who wants to get a glass rod, you know, a little bit more parabolic, parabolic all the way through from X-Pride, the 7.2 medium heavy glass is an amazing rod at a mid price. Paired up to a Corrado 70 MGL, casting distance is amazing. This feels like a super high-end rod without the super high-end price tag. But the action between these two rods is very different. It depends which way you want to go. If you want that crisp sensitivity or you want that deeper load. Now, last but not least, if you're specifically fishing heavy cover from Megabass, the Brailleist, the Orochi XX Brailleist is a favorite jig rod of all time. They also make the Brailleist in the Levante line. In the Levante line, it's just a little bit softer throughout. Just a little. That is an amazing heavy cover chatterbait rod. And by heavy cover, I mean you're fishing grass, you're fishing reeds. Those fish are eating and you need to get them out of the stuff. You don't want them going in, you want to turn their head and get them coming your way. You need to actually be able to control them. That Levante Brailleist is incredible. Put a Corrado 150 MGL on it so you've got a bunch of line, so you can go to heavier line, 50 to 65 pound braid, and then tighten that drag up and do battle with those fish. Different rods for different situations, but all are incredibly effective with a chatterbait. Yeah, there's so many things you can do. I mean, you'll notice that all of our combos have braid to leader. 
like Matt said, we like that sensitivity. Yeah, there are those guys that swear by those slower rods, those glass rods. They're throwing straight fluorocarbon. They don't care necessarily as much about the sensitivity as they want more of that kind of slingshot effect right. out of the cover. So you can play around with the different different combos. But there it is, guys. There's everything chatterbaits. Uh, you know, we we fish all these, caught a lot of fish on them. There's it, there's a rabbit hole you can go down in all the different in every types one of these all the different trailers, but that is simplified as much as we can. So if you need a, a wood chatterbait, we got one for you. If you need a, a finesse chatterbait, we got one for you. And then we have the right uh, trailers and right color combinations. And down below in the video description, we'll make those pairs. We'll line it out for you so you know the best best color with the best trailer and best color of trailer to. Uh, to save you some money and that way you're not buying a lot of uh, trailers or a bunch of chatter baits that you're not, you're not going to pair up properly. correctly. So, but uh, guys, we appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you let, enjoyed let me this, add to you really quick. Go actually. for it. So one thing to add, we try to time these videos with the sales on purpose for you guys so that you can save money. That's the entire purpose of this. Tim and I would much rather be out on the water today right now. We can see the water. It's glass. Yeah. We would rather be out there it's fishing overcast, right now. Yeah. This has been your request, and that's why we're doing this. So this video was timed to the last day of the sale for these baits. If we had done this a week ago, that is way too soon to start a holiday series, right? We couldn't have done that. So today is the last day. So if you're watching this the day that it comes out, these chatterbaits are on sale. Tomorrow or any time after that, they're not. But we tried to time that for you guys that were on it so that you could still take advantage of that sale. Now, starting tomorrow, it's a whole different set of things that are on sale because again, Tackle Warehouse is not doing a Black Friday this year. They're doing Black November. It's much longer and drawn out so you have more time to shop without all the stress and that one day of just utter chaos. But it's broken up into three segments. So tomorrow starts the second segment of the sale rods are on that so tomorrow we start the rod and reel the combo buyer's guides tomorrow will be hundred dollar combos then after that two hundred dollar combos we work our way all the way up to the super high-end gear and then we'll just keep rolling from there again if you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and we'll talk to you soon